Martinsburg is a very interesting place. We're not far, probably uh, within an hour from some of the wealthiest counties in the entire country. And yet, Martinsburg is not the wealthiest county in the United States. We, we um, economically um, are fairly diverse. Uh, we have everything from poverty uh, to, and there's a lot of grief associated with that, uh, to, to wealth on the outsides of town. Um, so we have a, a city, city that's about 17, 18,000 people um, population wise. Our county though has uh, 164,000 plus people uh, living in, in Martinsburg. We're also uh, just past the Virginia border. We're less than 30 minutes from Maryland, from Pennsylvania. Uh, so it's an interesting uh, place. We're also a suburb of the District of Columbia. So Washington DC, uh, a lot of our commuters are taking a train uh, four blocks from my house here in downtown Martinsburg uh, every day uh, during the business week down to DC. So it's a, about an hour and a half or so uh, trip into DC. And um, the, the local industry has suffered, but there's a lot of commuters in our town. Um, and so it's kind of created two different neighborhoods, uh, if you will. Uh, there's, there's folks that, um, where there's stable homes, you know, fathers working outside the home that are coming home, unfortunately not able to spend as much time oftentimes with their families because of uh, the commuting and uh, everything from that to uh, city life where we have opioid issues, um, we have issues with heroin, issues with molly, methamphetamine. Um, there's endless opportunities, it seems like, uh, to get involved in conversations. Uh, I live downtown personally and with uh, folks downtown about, about Jesus. And there's a very, very oftentimes um, difficult uh, reality that there's a hardness of heart uh, for for a lot of these people, and they've done a lot of folks that have struggled with uh, addictions um, that have led to you know overdoses and so on and so forth. Those those drugs, oftentimes those people have uh, fallen into the belief system that um, that they have a disease that's unchangeable, mm -hmm. and um, so oftentimes the the great physician can't heal a person that you know, is always going to be labeled, uh, you know, a drunkard or always going to be labeled an alcoholic or always going to be labeled a, a drug addict. Jesus offers something different though for these people. And Jesus can actually change the lives of, of people. <laughs> and this city uh, doesn't need another pro, you know, 12 step program to, to help people see that their, that their king, uh, the king of the universe can change their hearts can cause them to be slaves to righteousness and not slaves to their sin. And uh, so we, we exist here in Martinsburg, uh, Trinity Reform does, to declare that God has, has the will and the desire to build his kingdom and for uh, Martinsburg to be part of that, this city.